welcome you're watching Head to Head. I'm Antony Nantosha with UATV. Cinematography in Ukraine is rapidly developing. Directors from Ukraine represent numerous films on festivals at home and abroad, and their work is highly praised by colleagues and critics. In the meantime, in Ukraine, the National Alexander Dovshenko Center has released its fifth digest of short films called New Ukrainian Wave. To tell us more about it, we're joined in the studio today by Maxim Nakonechny. He's a director and a producer. Hello, Maxim, and thank you for coming. Hello. So, what thank is this? Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> You're welcome. Good to have you. So, what is this uh, fifth digest is all about? Um, as far as I get, uh, the topic of um, the digest of the Almanac mm -hmm. um, is called Runaway. Uh, so, I guess um, all the movies, it's like the Almanac of short movies. How many uh, movies are there in the Almanac? Let me get. Uh, let me remember. Six, six. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they are all um, gathered by one topic, um, which is which is runaway. So it's uh, kind of uh, uh, escaping from the reality, either from escaping uh, literally or escaping mentally, uh, mentally yeah, mm -hmm. or escaping from the reality to the reality of the cinema of mm. the movie. So, uh, I. And what kind of message do these short films are supposed to be sending to the viewer? Um, I, I think uh, still, um, despite they are gathered uh, by one topic in this almanac, they are quite different. I've seen uh, um, not all the works that mm -hmm. will be represented uh, in um, in this almanac, but uh, I've seen several. Uh, they are different, but I think the message uh, will be that um, um, every person, every human being has uh, uh, the whole world around, mm -hmm. but also has the whole world uh, inside mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. So you can, in every moment, you can switch between them. If For I'm not mistaken, is the like Almanac is, is being premiered today, yes, on the yes, 11th the of premiere, April. Yeah. Are you expecting <laughs> any guests from abroad or anybody who's famous to, to visit the premiere? I don't know, that's uh, more actually a question to the organizers. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, just a director. I, j I gave my film, I'm happy to Which show it. Which one is yours, it. though, out of those six uh, ones in the Almanac? My film is called Invisible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, what is it, it about? Be the last. Oh, it's about... Um, it's a story of a young teacher in mm -hmm. a village school mm -hmm. and uh, the story begins um, at the lesson uh, with the senior class mm -hmm. and there is uh, a pupil who probably likes the teacher. Oh, yes. so it's a love story. Yes, and yeah. not a love story. Okay. No. And uh, he, there he provokes her in, in front of the whole classroom mm -hmm. and it confuses her a lot. And is she young though? Yeah, yes, oh, okay. she's young. Yeah, yeah. There, um, his attraction to her is quite natural, okay. actually. Um, she, and um, this shameful uh, accident um, uh, traumatizes her a lot, and she, when she comes home, she pushes herself uh, because she cannot get rid of the. Uh, feeling of, of the shameful feeling, so she dives into some uh, wild state. She even gets drunk, and she um, she turns to her subconscious mm -hmm. to deal with this. Why trauma. invisible? Huh? Why invisible? Uh, invisible because it has a kind of uh, allusion um, to. Um, to the part of uh, M Mikhail Bulgakov's uh, um, uh, novel, Master and Margarita. The Margarita? Yes, uh, the Margarita's flight. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, On the broom. Huh? On the broom. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because, uh, because the key scene, the key episode in my movie was a bit kind of inspired by, oh, by, by the scene from Master and Margarita. By the scene from Master and Margarita. And that's why I even added that at the lesson they are um, they are reading master and margarita uh -huh. too. so it's not like 
totally inspired by that. But so, the key episodes are, I mm -hmm. wanted them to rhyme a bit. And that's why I called it Invisible, because Margarita, when she flew over the fence, mm -hmm. To, uh, she had to scream it to become invisible, mm -hmm. and that also. So, what does the movie also. end with? Does the film, that your short film, end with? Ah, it uh, ends uh, just with. Um, there's not. There's no any certain event. What happens next? I just. But uh, does the young teacher manage to? Um, to, to comprehend what is happening with her subconscious. Yes, yes, yes. She. Mm, the morning comes, she becomes uh, sober in mm -hmm. all the ways, mm -hmm. and uh, she just she cures she cures her uh, wounds. Once, mm -hmm. once, yeah, she received during the night, and she just decides to go somewhere where nothing will reach her. I, neither par neither her parents who are controlling her, neither um, all the society she was living mm -hmm. in. She just leaves. And that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is this your first time participating in such an initiative as the Almanac? Was uh, yeah, yeah. It's actually my it? first movie as I made e as ever. a director. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is uh, your um, spotlight. Actually, yeah. what yeah. kind of what kind of a feedback are you expecting? Uh, well, I already showed uh, this movie at uh, Molodist um, mm -hmm. festival, festival. So I, um, but the audience there actually was a bit more professional, consisting of filmmakers, mm -hmm. and uh, um, they were quite excited. Of course, there were some notes, and I, m myself, I even know more disadvantages of my movie. Yeah, because well, I were, the master I is was, never satisfied enough with yeah, his work, that's uh, fine. But still, I hope, uh, and all the feedback I have already received, and uh, I hope to receive more feedback just uh, um, I want people to think about their personality too, and I just want people to think that uh, there is nothing inside them that should be hidden or mm -hmm. forbidden mm -hmm. violently, because uh, um, early or late it will explode. Yes, still. and just... Yeah. Uh, uh, to show our audience that it's not only talk, we have a trailer of a movie we would like to, yeah. to show, so there it is. Mm -hmm. Проснувшись, Маргарита не заплакала, как это бывало часто, потому что проснулась с предчувствием, что сегодня, наконец, что-то произойдет. Very interesting picture. So we already figured out what inspired you to do this short film, mm -hmm. and we already figured out that this was your f short film. Uh, in your plans for the future, are you planning on continuing to shoot short films, or maybe you are going to go full swing? Uh, well, I've already made one more short movie. Uh -huh. um, when is it going to be presented? Um, I j it's it's just 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 finished, mm -hmm. so we're so in the, in the uh, process of editing. Uh, almost, yeah. We need just the sound uh, to be finished, mm -hmm. and that's it. Um, it was supported by President's Grant, cool. and um, mm, so we already. What's it called? Huh? What's it called? Uh, New Year with Family. Mm -hmm. It's quite different from what you have just seen. It will be just like a little invisible. sneak peek. Huh? Could you give us some little sneak peek? Ah, uh, it's about a family of uh, internally. It's displaced about an people? internally displaced family uh -huh. who have to celebrate New Year at the new place for the first time. Mm -hmm. So like. Uh, they they want to they want everything to be like they used they like they used it to be yeah but, but it, everything it, goes wrong of course it can't almost be the same. everything and almost everything and the last moment something happens that saves the holiday oh yeah. that is so great okay so and you you already have um, another short film mm -hmm. 
Uh, coming back to my previous question, are you going to go full swing or maybe you're going to switch to documentaries? Yeah, I'm producing documentaries actually. Mm -hmm. uh, like we have a production with friends mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I helped producing one documentary that uh, maybe you heard at school number three. It was at Berlinale last year and no, it also uh, received an award. It mm -hmm. was made by my friend Lisa Smith and German director Georg mm -hmm. Genot. Uh, now I'm producing a full-length documentary called mm -hmm. Andri Suleiman. Uh, but as a director, I actually don't feel um, power to take such responsibility of real people and real stories. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep uh, shooting fiction films. Mm -hmm. And I already have uh, like an idea of a story that can... Uh, be developed into a full-length movie. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I'll keep it a secret for now, oh, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank intrigue. you so much for coming here and telling Thank us all about your short yeah. films and the, the the producing job. It's quite interesting. Mm. This was Maxim Nikonichny. He's a director and a producer. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned with UATV.